Madam Speaker, I'd like to share a story of Naledi, a delightful young girl of 12, bubbly and full of life. Her mother worked late. Her uncle, who owned a store, cared for her. One fateful day, after everyone had left, he dropped a box on the floor, asking Naledi to quickly help him pick up the contents. Before Naledi realized what was happening to her, he was on top of her, pushing her and hurting her with a force that her young body could not withstand. When all was done, her uncle gave her 50 rand and told her never to tell anybody, otherwise he would never help her mother again. With a torn and broken body, Naledi went home too terrified to tell her mother. At school, Naledi's favorite teacher realized something was wrong when Naledi wasn't able to sit down. During break time and in tears, Naledi told her teacher what had happened. Immediately they went to the police station, which was very busy, and they had to wait their turn. Naledi was terrified and wanted to run home and hide under the bed. The teacher tried to explain what had happened, but the officer insisted Naledi speak for herself. But Naledi didn't want to tell the officer because everybody in the station knew her uncle and she was too scared they would laugh at her. The policeman insisted she speak loudly and everybody in the station was looking at her and she started crying all over again. Her teacher insisted on a private place to talk and they went to an office and waited and waited. Eventually, a lady police officer arrived and told them to come back the next day because there was nobody that could help them, as they were a small station. They didn't have rape kits or a social worker to help Naledi, and her heavy heart and pain just grew and grew. Naledi's story is not an isolated incident, but a daily occurrence of what victims of crime experience at many police stations. Of the 143 stations in Gauteng, 22 have no victim empowerment facilities and many do not have rave kits. Victims like my lady sit and shiver at the station while the staff are insensitive and ignorant. The National Crime Prevention Strategy intends to be a victim-centered restorative justice system focusing on the needs of the victim. Yet research by Nelden Kruger shows that 50% of victims would have appreciated specialized services. Only 4% received this. The current support services for victims of crime and violence are limited, fragmented, uncoordinated, and therefore ineffective. We have failed the needs of the many crime victims when it comes to empowering and assisting them. We must empower our communities with information and GBV should, be, should start at the home where we must inform, enlighten and engage all stakeholders. We need fully equipped police stations, experienced and trained officers, a victim-friendly room, fully equipped with soft, comfortable chairs, warm, fluffy blankets and soft toys to give comfort and gentle music to calm the soul. We need sufficiently funded MPOs close to police stations to provide a service with highly trained and available social workers. Madam Speaker, we must ensure this is done for Naledi and all the other voiceless victims of crime.